Welcome to another edition here at my kitchen, LRC's kitchen. Uh, I have a very special guest at this kitchen. Actually, it's her kitchen that I'm inherited or we have inherited. Uh, most of the cooking that Ritika and I learned, we could attribute to her. Uh, she happens to be Ritika's aunt, but uh, has been a part of family always. So, I'm welcoming with pride and pleasure, Maleshwari Atta. Thank you. Rani. What Atta is going to do today is what is a very traditional dish in South India. It's called Kandi Pachadi. Kandi Pachadi is made with uh, tuvarda and tamarind and red chilies. These are its basic ingredients. Nothing really... Uh, more to add to it except the basic tadka. She'll take over. First, what she's going to do is she's going to roast the tuvar dal that she has with her. She has put a teaspoon of oil into the pan. And if you notice, she is roasting the tuvar dal in the spoon of oil. There's about 100 grams of tuvar dal for which she would be using about 8 to 9 red chilies and a very very small quantity of tamarind. Uh, gooseberry size of tamarind maybe. She is uh, roasting the tuvar dal to a light brown color. You can smell the tuvar dal. There's a slight difference in the taste. The rawness is slowly disappearing. There's a crisp smell about it. You see that the dal has changed color. It's moved from pale yellow to near brown. What do I do now? Remove. And put it in that, okay? Ah. Okay, I'll do that. Ah, wait, I'll do that. Wait. Delivery. Okay. What do I do next, Atta? Do you want me to light the stove? Mm. About uh, ten red chilies have gone into it. No extra oil. Remember, there is already some oil in the. Pan in sip jail at the So according to Malaysia Rata, the color must change a little. You'll also make out that the color. Okay. It must turn slightly from red to maroon or to a slight tinge of black in it. This won't take too long, a minute and a half or two. Malaysia Rata has been a great cook in her time. She's done um, She's been an amazing homemaker, now in uh, retirement, but con continues to be a consultant advisor. So as I said, she's been a consultant to all cooks in the family. Everybody still runs to her for any advice on what to do and what not to. So this is the color that it should be getting. You'll also see that all of them have got a little oily by themselves. So now put off the stove. I'll first pulse it on her command. Yeah. 
methods. You see that the uh, <coughs> roasted red chili is now powdered. Into that goes the so yeah. tamarind. I told you it's about a small gooseberry size uh, in water. Salt to taste. Added salt at her uh, direction, and now now add some water. Add some more water. Fine paste. Some more water. Right, this is what you want me to do. So the paste is ready. Avalo, hm, end marpokai, hm, karepapu, hm, concha menapapu. Menapu, okay. So first menapapu with them. Jelakara? Jelakara. Hmm. So, thank you to Maleshwarata for being our very special guest today. Uh, she's done uh, Kandi Pachari or we've... Uh, she's uh, been, as I said, uh, the mother figure teaching all of us how to be doing all our cooking. Thank you very much. Please send in your comments. See you later. Thank you.